Hey there, how's it going everyone? So check this out. This is my bathtub worm farm and look what we have here escaping from the bin. This is a black soldier fly pupae. So if you do have a larva population in a contained system, after about 15 days of eating, they'll want to escape, which is what's happening here. So at the base, congregating, we have some of the pupae, which is the later stage of their life. At this point, it's about another 15 days before they become flies once again. And I just want to let you guys know there's nothing to be worried about with black soldier flies. They're pretty much out of sight, out of mind. They don't want to come near your house, land on you. So unless you're really paying attention, you probably won't even notice they're there in most situations. But the larva that's produced when the female fly lays her eggs in a worm bin or a bin specifically designed to grow black soldier fly larvae are absolutely a wonderful resource. Now the true value comes from the conversion of waste organic materials to the growth of the larva. Because they're so efficient at breaking down these materials and growing themselves rather than producing a lot of compost, that value is going to be found in the larva themselves. They're high in protein, they make an excellent chicken feed. Chickens love them and go nuts, so you definitely want to give these to your chickens if you have them. Uh, you could also feed them to a fish population. Although when I do throw them into my pond, my fish are a bit spoiled. They've been getting the pelletized fish food their whole life. They don't really know what to do with them, but you could see where these could be used for fishing or other species of fish. And there's even some folks that will dry these out and grind them up as a fertilizer. So there are different options here. But the main reason I wanted to make this video was to just touch on the question, can red worms or any other worm coexist with the black soldier fly larva in the same containment system? And the answer is yes, absolutely. There's no detrimental effects. In fact, this has happened in years past and I found that some of the compost that is created in a system like this is of the top quality. The light fluffy mixture that comes from the black soldier fly frass mixed with the worm castings makes for an excellent garden fertilizer. So if you do see some large, squirrely, maggot looking larva in your bin, don't fret. This is a good thing. One other thing I'd like to add is it could be a very wise decision to take a system like this, whether it be a worm bin or a black soldier fly larva bin, and actually place it in your chicken run. This way, any of those larvae that escape the bin will fall right into the run. The chickens are going to pick up on that and start to gather around the bin and have their daily treat. And by the way, there's some great and efficient ways to farm the black soldier flies at home. And when they start to crawl out of the bin, you can have them so they fall into collection containers. And I've shared some of that with you in the past when I put together my own black soldier fly larva bin. If you're interested, I'll drop a link to that video below this video in the description box. So with that, I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.